Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope you're doing okay today. I overdid it yesterday. When I woke up this morning, I could barely move. I was, everything was just excruciating. I could, I could barely move. I'm doing a little better. I've gone over this morning and helped my buddy uh, work on his bike that he just bought. Uh, he bought a gold wing. So, um, he, he needed some help with it. Um, I'm very familiar with gold wings. As you know, I ride a gold wing and I've owned a lot of gold wings. So, uh, I went over and helped him out. We got the, uh, fluids straightened out on it, got the air shocks straightened out on it. Um, got it hitting on all four cylinders like it's supposed to, you know, just some basic stuff, got the pressure in the tires correct. And, um, the pressure in the air shock is correct and all of that. And, uh, it's, it's running a lot better than it was. In fact, it's a hundred times improvement over what it was yesterday. Um, I was hurting pretty bad last evening, but I still went and helped him. Um, he wanted to go look at the bike and stuff and he decided to buy it and I helped him get it home and, um, stuff like that. And then I went over there this morning and worked on it with him for a little while. And then, um, uh, we took it for a ride, you know, he went to the car wash and stuff and I explained to him a few things he needs to do, uh, to get it running a little better. Um, so, you know, and, and although I'm in pain, I just can't sit. Uh, it's really hard for me to do that. So I came home and I relaxed on the couch for a little while and started feeling a little better and decided to go ahead and make this video. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a terrible thing to be in pain, but I called the doctor because this morning when I got up, the uh, the pain was really intense, right at the base of my skull. I mean, right, just you know that first vertebrae in your neck, that first one you can feel right there, and the pain was just intense. I hadn't felt it hurt there, uh, you know, a little. A little bit of pain there, but mostly the pain was in my trapeze muscle, and you know, right here in my trapeze and my shoulder. And it felt like there was, uh, you know, something stabbing me in the shoulder area, right, in the in the in the in the joint. But this morning it was different. The pain was in my neck, and the doctor said that's a good thing. And I was like, how is that a good thing? You know, I could handle the pain in my arm. That was, you know, it hurt, but it, I've had, you know, pain in my, when I tore my rotator cuff and stuff like that. Uh, that I could handle, but now it's in my neck. I can't even straighten my neck. I'm, I'm walking around hunched over like this because I can't straighten my neck out. He says, you need to straighten your neck out. You need to keep doing the exercises we told you to do. We wanted it to relax the exercises, relax the muscle up here and the muscles in the shoulder area and, and, and in the back area, the exercises help relax those muscles so that the nerve pain goes to the point of the pinch. So now you know where it's pinched and your body will, you know, keep doing the exercises, you know, pulling your head this way, pulling it this way, right? Uh, one of the best exercises they told me was to put my arms up like this, put my fists together and then pull my shoulders back and lean my head back at the same time and then bring it back together, put my head down, bring my shoulders back and lean my head back. And that really helped a lot with getting the pain to subside in the shoulder and muscle area here. Um, so the pain is all in the neck now and I've been doing the exercises and it's subsiding quite a bit. Um, but they said, that's good. That's what we want. He says, now that your brain is getting the right signals where the nerve is pinched, uh, he says, more than likely while you're sleeping, your body, your brain will tell your body to move a certain way or lay a certain way or something to get to relieve the pressure on that nerve to open up that, those two vertebrae, right, where it's pinched. Because let's say this is the nerve coming out of the vertebrae. And, you know, there's, you have vertebrae like this, 
that sit on top of each other and you have nerves that come right out of the vertebrae like that. So this is the nerve that's pinched right here. And what will happen is your body, while you're sleeping, now that the brain knows that's where it's pinched and that's where it's irritated, while you're sleeping, your subconscious mind or your, your, your brain, whatever, however he puts it, will figure out a way to open, you know, because it's like this. It's like pinched in there, right? So your, your brain will figure out a way to make your body lay in a certain way to take the tension off of that so that nerve can pop back where it belongs and then it'll come out and it won't be pinched anymore it'll be free again so right now it's like this it's pinched in there and when he said more than likely either while I'm moving my neck around the way I'm supposed to or while I'm sleeping it'll my body will get in a position where it'll it'll tweak those vertebrae just enough to get that nerve to pop out so then it won't be pinched anymore and it'll be out here and he said and the pain will just be gone so I'm hoping that'll happen I don't know I just know that it was, I was in an excruciating pain this morning. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I think that, you know, uh, anytime you have a pinched nerve, it's a real pain in the neck. <laughs> I know that was a stupid pun. Um, but anytime you're, you know, I, I feel sorry for anybody that has arthritis or, um, nerve pain or sciatica that's a pinched nerve in the lower back that sends pain down your legs and things um, I've had this before but it's so rare that I forget you know if when things are going good and you're not feeling any pain and you're happy and you're loving your life then something like this happens you forget what it was like the last time it happened I haven't had a broken bone in forever, knock on wood. <laughs> so I would forget what a broken bone feels like. And if I got a broken bone, I'd be, you know, it would probably be excruciating because I don't remember, you know, what it felt like to have a broken bone. So that's just kind of the way it is. We forget just like, you know, one thing I, one pain I will never forget. Is the pain I went through getting my teeth pulled and having my jaw bones shaved and having those dentures in my mouth the first two weeks, those immediate dentures. That is a pain that will stick with me for the rest of my life. That is something I will never forget. Pinched nerve in the neck, not that severe. You know, broken bone not near as severe as the pain I tolerated in my mouth. So that is a pain I will never forget. And I hope none of you forget that pain either. We have to remember that. We have to remember what we went through to benefit ourselves with these. These amazing prosthetics we can put in our mouth and function on a daily basis and be as normal as everybody else. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I keep looking at the little clock over there <laughs> on the on the camera. I don't want to stretch my videos out for too long. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I hope you remember to keep smiling, keep trying, and please never give up.